Hi everybody, so today we're going to be repairing this denture where we have three anterior teeth that are fractured. Now it's got some posterior wear as well, but at this point we're just addressing the two centrals and the lateral that's fractured off. Um, now this denture has uh, acrylic and also a composite facing that has a slight um, hairline fractures to it. So first things first, because we were not provided an opposing and a bite, I need to capture at least the arc and the position at the height of these teeth. So what I try to do is I actually try to mar make a markings on the table so when I'm setting the replacement teeth I'll be able to line it up with those markings. Um, additionally what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slight putty matrix just to kind of give me an idea of what the facials of these teeth will need to be positioned like. Okay, let's go from here. Okay, so now we have finished the matrix. So now we have a position of the teeth that we need to approximate uh, facially. And this is really hard to do with one hand. But you guys get the idea. Uh, so this is for the facial. This is for the incisal. So when I'm positioning the teeth, I'll know where to align them, at least approximately. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to grind the teeth out. Okay, at this point, I have the teeth ground out. Whenever you're dealing with a case where you have a facial composite, and you try to keep as much of it as possible, it's a good idea to start grinding from the palatal or the lingual. And this way you can keep the facial uh, mostly intact where you can just be sealing stuff in and then just fixing up the composite in this area. So from this point on, I'm just going to position the teeth, which are kind of pre-ground, and uh, I'm gonna wax them in. Okay, so at this point we have attached the teeth and wax. And uh, next step is I'm going to make a putty matrix to attach the teeth to and then we're going to add acrylic from the palatal to uh, attach the teeth to the denture and after that we're going to actually go back in and fix the composite in the front as you can see I mean uh, I evened everything out but I didn't make it completely perfect uh, when it comes to um, the this area it's because I'm going to going, going to be going back and grinding this composite just a little bit so I can add a little bit more to fix the margins. And I'm also going to fix these uh, hairline fractures that have been created uh, when the denture fell. Okay. So whenever I create a putty matrix for repair, um, as you can see right there, you see how it has that oily uh, surface to it. And if you're going to place teeth in here, and I like to use a little bit of super glue to hold them in place, even if you use super glue, this oily substance is going to prevent it from uh, holding your teeth in place. So what I'd like to do is just put in my alcohol cleaning bath for about three minutes and after that I'm just going to lightly sandblast that area so when I put the teeth on pla in place they will hold in there so tight that it's just going to be almost impossible to take it off. So when I actually remove the, the matrix some of the glue and the putty stays in there and then I'll use a little bit of uh, uh, glass beads to clean that all up. Another thing I like to do, uh, in order to remove these teeth, the easiest thing for me to do and the cleanest is I'll put them in this dehydrator for about 10 minutes. It will actually melt the wax enough to where it kind of just peels out and then I'll use my steamer to clean off the rest. So I like to usually steam my teeth off individually if I'm doing a putty matrix. Uh, but one thing I have found that works pretty well, I have initially modified this hemostat to hold uh, parts for cutting for uh, tie bases and such, but it actually works pretty well. That notch holds a tooth pretty well in there um, and allows you to steam it without throwing this whole tooth across the room. Okay, so at this point, we've prepped the matrix by washing in alcohol and sandblasting it lightly and bonded the teeth to the matrix with some super glue. And these things are in there nice and solid. I also sandblasted the, uh, the basal surface of the tooth and I sandblasted the denture where we're going to be doing the bonding. I did not sandblast this area at all because I actually don't want stuff bonding to the composite because I, I want to make sure just to clean it up and then I'll sandblast and bond composite to this area. But as you can see this area is cleaned up so the acrylic will bond nice to it. And from this point what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to put the matrix in its place like this and backfill it with acrylic. I'm gonna go do that right now. 
So for my repair, I'm going to be utilizing uh, Vitacol, um, which helps me um, bond stuff a lot better. I use it especially when I use my uh, uh, Vitapen XL teeth, uh, lingual forms, because uh, when you have a highly ceramically filled tooth, this stuff really helps. So I'll usually put this on the denture base on the tooth, and you want to leave it in there uh, for at least 5 minutes, but no longer than 15 minutes, because if you leave it longer than 15 minutes, it starts to crystallize and it can actually do more harm than good. So I usually leave about leave it on there for about five all the way up to ten minutes. Uh, I measure my powder and my monomer just because I want to have that nice consistency, especially also with shade. Uh, because I'm using um, GC heat cure acrylic here initially, that's what I used, uh, and I know the shade that I used. I'm actually just going to use the same type of acrylic just in cold cure or self cure, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, what I like about this particular acrylic brand, the cold cure and the heat cure has the same exact shade, so it'll match fairly well. And uh, I'll mix it up in one of these uh, disposable containers that's non-reactive. Um, it works pretty well. And I, I actually also like to use these kind of brushes. I buy them from the nail industry. Uh, these are Kalinsky type brushes. What's nice about them, they don't get ruined by acrylic. So this is the brush I'm going to be using to backfill it. Okay, at this point the teeth are placed, the acrylic has been adjusted, um, everything has been sandblasted and dehydrated. The micro cracks and composite have been removed and now I'm just going to apply the um, composite primer and fill everything with composite after which I'm going to cure it with uh, with air barrier, clean everything, then uh, sandblast again and cover everything uh, up to the teeth with a new layer of OptiGlaze and it should be ready to go. So at this point uh, we have the repair done. Uh, the case has been reglazed, all the micro cracks and the, um, and the composite have been repaired. Uh, and the case is ready to go back. Uh, at this point, uh, I think my next recommendation is probably get a new denture since this one's about six years old. So it's probably time for a new one. So there we go.